Hello, welcome back to my channel. This time I want to pour into the coffee cup mold and I want to go in brown and copper tones. So this is actually a birthday present for a good friend of mine. So yeah, I thought it's a good idea to use the coffee cup mold and I like to, to give things away to friends and but anyway this is the copper it's a pigment paste from Dippon yeah I didn't use it for a while so I really have to stir it very good and then I take just a little bit what I want to achieve is the web and the crackle effect because I I adore this especially for the um coffee cups because I think it will be an awesome design second color and there's our cat again you know scratching I'm sorry for the background <laughs> noise the second color is the uh, mocha it's the uh, mica from Calaberry and it's a very beautiful brown tone I only bought it recently I used to have it in the carrot box and yeah, now I thought I go with the big jar because it's really awesome. Then the third color is the white gold Barrera or similar. It's the interference gold from Laura's Art Corner. Please have mercy with me. I will never learn how to pronounce it properly. People are writing it down and then I know it and then I forget it again. I don't know what this is. It's age, I guess. And I also put a little bit of pigment paste, white pigment paste, to my interference gold. The pigment paste is the Angel White from Lores. Then I'm putting um, the glitter, the desert glitter from Laura's Art Corner into my white mix and a little bit of the copper. It's a fine glitter from Rico. <clears throat> So this should be actually my, yeah, how can you call it, a cappuccino look at the, at the beginning because I really like to have classic um, coffee. And then I'm taking also the anthracite and a little bit of the interference gold and mix this up. So these are practically my colors. Yeah, you really need to stir them very well. Sometimes I think I'm not stirring too good because, um, yeah, just now and again, I have a little bit of the mica, you know, the loose mica in my pour and it's not nice. And I'm also mixing up a little bit of resin with the Praline. It's a resin ink from Stefanietta. So I have so many different brands for this pour. And, you know, I really like to play with different brands, with different um, pigments, with the paste, with the resin ink, with the micas. It's just fun. And that's a mold. It's a coaster mold from Molds and Shapes. I link Molds and Shapes into my description box and there's a promo code. There's also the promo code for Laura's Art Corner. But anyway... I'm starting pouring the resin ink into the handle of the cups. Yeah, the handles are quite narrow, so I really have to see that I'm not dropping my resin somewhere where it should not be. And then I'm filling up my mold with the clear resin. The resin I'm using here is the ultra, ultra cast resin from Stefanietta. It's a medium viscosity resin and you can really achieve wonderful effects with this. And it's also very crystal clear. Yeah, the mold is really amazing, the coffee cup mold. And I really adore it. And I should use it more. I, I want to make another pour actually and I want to use blues. What do you think about blue coffee um, cups in... Yeah, also maybe the crackle and the web effect. I just wonder what you will think about it. But anyway, now I'm busy with my brown copper mix. <clears throat> 
and the first color is the pigment paste and I just go half around at the bottom of my mold so halfway along the edges Yeah, I try to pour not too thick. Actually, I'm just seeing this and please, I'm, I'm sorry. I started with the mocha, not with the copper tone. Now I'm using the copper, the pigment paste. So first the mica, now the pigment paste. It's really when, when it's a couple of days ago, since you you poured sometimes you really um yeah you forget um what you've done but this is the wonderful copper tone and then i'm taking my gray mix this gray with the interference gold and i'm also pouring this in the same way just along my copper tone you see it and then I'm taking my mix um, my light interference gold mix and I'm just pouring on the top edge because I want it to be like milk shower, uh, milk foam, milk foam. I almost said the German word like schaum. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, like milky foam. But I didn't want to have a, such a hard um, white tone. Now I'm also taking a little bit of the resin ink, you see it, the pralina, and I'm just going along also inside my lighter color. And I really don't know how they're going to turn out, but if you don't try things, you don't know. I always say this. Now I'm filling up my mold. And push my color dressing a little bit out. Giving it a quick torch, please. Like I always said, be careful using the torch not to burn your resin or your mold. And now I'm giving it a little bit more of the white mix or of the interference gold mix. And also a little bit around the edges of the lower part. I don't know if it does anything, but that was at the moment the way I felt doing and so I'm doing it. And I'm just playing around with the colors, you see it. <clears throat> this is again the copper, uh, not the copper, why do we always say copper? This is the mocha. And now I'm trying to drag down a little bit of the interference gold so it looks like that the milk foam is going into the coffee. Yeah, sometimes you can really um, manipulate the resin on an awesome way. 
and yeah still putting a little bit around i still have space in my mold and again the torch and this is the close-up so it really already dragged to the center. I have a little bit of negative space, but I, I actually don't mind. And it was only maybe half an hour after I was pouring. But so far, I really like the effect. Anyway, this is the next day and time for the molding. I let them really sit for 24 hours. So they're really cured, they're not bendy anymore. And I can take them out. I'm quite curious how they're gonna turn out because the pouring side always looks different than the back side. And I hope to have some nice effects on my back side. Not on my back side, but the back side of, of the cups. And look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the effects. I, I just love the crackle effect and also the um, web effect and I like it there with the two colors. Also the handle that it's um, with the resin ink that's a little bit transparent, I like it. But yeah, this is not the end of the video yet because I thought I put some stickers on it. I bought a seal cut plotter, the little one, the Joy, which is enough for me. And there you see only one sticker, but I thought I film it. Sorry for the quality. I guess my boyfriend didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't do it too good, but you can see what I'm doing. And that's important, I think. Uh, just taking the transfer film off and then I have my first one done. Yeah, and then I gave them also a heat resistant top layer so you can see how shiny they are and you can see the depths in them with the effects and I really like them a lot. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.